the three-day reenactment of the Battle of Mobile Bay is now history. Thousands of actors and spectators took part. As history tells us, Union forces captured Fort Morgan and Fort Gaines and eventually took control of the Port of Mobile, leading to the end of the Civil War. News 5's Pat Peterson spent the day at Fort Morgan, where the reenactment was almost like the real thing. On the final day of the battle reenactment at Fort Morgan, ah. Confederate soldiers stationed at the fort are outnumbered and outgunned. They had run out of supplies, out of ammunition. The citadel within the fort had already burned, and so really surrender was the only choice they had. Union troops advance on the Confederate stronghold. Inside the fort, officers send sharpshooters to the east wall. Go get them, guys! But their defenses aren't enough. The battle reenactment ended around 1 o'clock when Union forces overwhelmed the fort, bringing the activity surrounding the 150th anniversary of the Battle of Mobile Bay to a close. Spectators were impressed with the surrender ceremony. They've got, what, hundreds of people set up here and, and, and the cannons and the whole nine yards. I mean, it's just, it's wonderful. It's uh, really great for me uh, and I think for history in general. I don't think kids get enough education in history anymore and uh, this is a good place to learn something about it. Governor Robert Bentley attended the surrender ceremony. This is very important. It's important to remember our history. Uh, you know, this fort actually goes back to the War of 1812. This is part of our tourism for the state. We have a lot of history in the state of Alabama, and we need to let people know about that. The three-day reenactment entertained and educated thousands living history you won't find in any Civil War book. On the Baldwin County Beat, Pat Peterson, News 5. More than 400 actors from across the southeast participated in the siege and surrender reenactment of Fort Morgan.